Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wondered how to make those clean, fast-paced TikTok style edits, just like the ones I post, then you're in the right place. Today, I'm breaking down the full process step-by-step. Step. Let's get started. First, you need a good quality raw clip for your edits. And question is where to find them? There are many Discord channel that provide free high quality scene pack for you, edits like 411, scene packs, visual logoless, parallel, and also many Instagram pages, they provide high quality and easy method to download the scenes pack. And they have almost all movies and series. And if you want upscaled clips, you take some from my Telegram channel. Link in description. Step two, enhancing quality. If you're looking for the exact Topaz-like quality on mobile, I'm sorry to say it's not possible. I'm not trying to mislead you, but it's true that without Topaz, achieving the same level of quality is difficult. However, there are some mobile apps that can improve the quality to some extent, like VMake and Wink. Alternatively, you can check out my store for a quality enhancement pack specifically designed for mobile. You can purchase it to get better quality. Now let's jump to the tutorial where we are actually grinding the edit. First, import your audio and mark the beats clearly. Then add your intro clip to sync with the first beat. Cut the intro clip at the first beat and slow it down to create a zoom effect. Next, bring in your Twixter clips and align them with the beats of the music. Add a rectangular shape to fill the composition area and mask each Twixter clip inside the rectangle one by one. For the first clip, zoom in by adjusting the POV to focus on the character's forehead. Add keyframes for the scale settings. Zoom in on the last keyframe or zoom out on the first keyframe, depending on your preference. To make the zoom smoother, apply a suitable graph for a more dynamic effect. Then add tiles and motion blur to enhance the look. Once you're happy with the first clip, copy it and paste the same style onto the other clips by this paste style button. If you want to add a shake effect, apply your preset shape to the first clip. Finally, apply a suitable color correction CC to all clips and finish off your project with an outro. This will give you a polished video synced to the music's beat. For the text effect, I'll make a separate tutorial for easy to advance text in the next video. So stay tuned. See you guys.